Neil Armstrong was born on August 5, 1930 to Viola Louise Engel and Stephen Koenig Armstrong, a state auditor. Neil's passion for aviation and flight was kindled when he took his first airplane ride at age six. He was active in the Boy Scouts of America and earned the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest rank attainable. He became a licensed pilot on his 16th birthday and a Naval Air Cadet in 1947. His studies in aeronautical engineering at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana were interrupted in 1950 by his service in the Korean War, during which he was shot down once and was awarded three air medals. He completed his degree in 1955 and immediately became a civilian research pilot for the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics (NACA), later the National Aeronautics and Space Administration (NASA). He flew more than 1,100 hours testing various supersonic fighters as well as the X-15 rocket plane. In 1962, Armstrong joined the space program with its second group of astronauts. On March 16, 1966, Armstrong, as command pilot of Gemini 8, and David R. Scott rendezvoused with an unmanned Agena rocket and completed the first manual space docking maneuver. After the docking, a rocket thruster malfunction sent the spacecraft into an uncontrolled spin and forced them to separate from the Agena. Armstrong then regained control of the Gemini craft and made an emergency splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. On July 16, 1969, Armstrong, along with Edwin E. Aldrin Jr. and Michael Collins, blasted off in the Apollo 11 vehicle toward the moon. Four days later, at 4.17 p.m. U.S. Eastern Daylight Time EDT, the Eagle Lunar Landing Module, guided manually by Armstrong, touched down on a plane near the southwestern edge of the Sea of Tranquility. At 10.56 p.m. EDT on July 20, 1969, Armstrong stepped from the Eagle onto the moon's dusty surface with the words, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong and Aldrin left the module for more than two hours and deployed scientific instruments, collected surface samples, and took numerous photographs. On July 21st, after 21 hours and 36 minutes on the moon, they lifted off to rendezvous with Collins and begin the voyage back to Earth. After splashdown in the Pacific at 12.51 p.m. EDT on July 24th, the three astronauts spent 18 days in quarantine to guard against possible contamination by lunar microbes. During the days that followed, and during a tour of 21 nations, they were hailed for their part in the opening of a new era in human exploration of the universe.
Armstrong resigned from NASA in 1971. After Apollo 11, he shied away from being a public figure and confined himself to academic and professional endeavors. From 1971 to 1979, he was professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Cincinnati, Ohio. After 1979, Armstrong served as chairman or director for a number of companies, among them Computing Technologies for Aviation from 1982 to 1992, and AIL Systems, a maker of electronic equipment for the military, from 1977 until his retirement in 2002. He also served on the National Commission of Space, a panel charged with setting goals for the space program, and on the Presidential Commission on the Space Shuttle Challenger accident, the group appointed in 1986 to analyze the safety failures in the Challenger disaster. He was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1969, the Congressional Space Medal of Honor in 1978, and the Congressional Gold Medal in 2009.